This is my sister, Sylvie. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring swords, Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. Rodri! I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? A flower plucked is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Your mother may need some convincing. You killed our brother! I've killed many brothers. Sisters, too. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh. You won't need your sword. Not where we're going. I'm not going without my sword. I'm afraid you are. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> there. <sighs> Doesn't that feel better? Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business. Not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do. So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Griff and his men are under guard. They have no place here. They do, if I say they do. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back. And called in the Glenmores. I'm not sure how you managed that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. Lady Elena Glenmore is our guest. The soldiers accompanied her to ensure her safety. If her safety is a concern, perhaps she should not have come to Ironrath. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Ah. Here we are. Arthur! Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay! You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. 
someone else's leftovers. Arthur's done nothing wrong! If you want to hurt someone, hurt me! No, Roderick! Why bother? You're nearly a corpse already. <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> Look at what you've done! I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please, stop! <laughs> Please! Please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop! Please, do something! Talia, don't look. Please. Look at him, Talia. But they'll never learn otherwise. Roderick <laughs> show mercy to Griff. This is his fault. To the blood. Please stop, Lord. The poor lad's fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? For me, you're a cripple. <laughs> I may have misjudged you, Roderick. I came here to kill you, but now I'm thinking it might be far more entertaining to watch you and Lud tear each other to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a hold fast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise, I'll kill you both and be done with it. You're insane. At least I'm not you. And one more thing. <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. <laughs> Ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. monster would do such a thing, and Boltons will pay for this. Arthur. Oh, I'm so sorry. Why? 
After all we've been through, must the gods continue to shit on this house? What have we ever done to them? Follow the Starks? Obey the rule of law? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. Can't believe it's fucking come to this! The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Roiland. You'll get no argument from me. But how do we bloody fight them? We just don't have the numbers. Not yet, anyway. And they still have Ryan. Lud makes a show of being strong, but he's no better off than us. Not if the Boltons refuse to... Where is to... he? Where is oh, my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! <laughs> Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... <gasps> no. No. Oh, no. No, Arthur, no. Arthur! <laughs> it's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. I'm so sorry, Elena. I know how much he meant to you. He meant everything, Roderick. He was my little brother. <laughs> I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous that father called him Quiver. And now to die like this, tortured, mutilated. I wish there was something I could say to make this easier. Is that meant to console me? Ramsay came here because of you. If we hadn't been your allies, Elena. I'm sorry. Let's get you someplace warm. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you. Whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. <sighs> ah, there you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira. I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk. Defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros. In front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. I'm sorry about that. I, I really did try to be discreet. But you couldn't, could you? Because you're in over your head. I know it. And Marjorie knows it. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now, with Garibald refusing to talk to me, I 
just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. Marjorie is my only protection without him. I can't afford to fall from her good graces. That's fine by me. I don't need friends who get so easily overwhelmed. It makes me sad to hear you talk like that. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. Of course it was worth it. They're my family. And they're very lucky to have you. Better go before she sees me. She'll be a forester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. I thought you'd be happier. I'm glad he's dead. Felt good plunging the knife in at least. But... It doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter. Or something. Is that your way of saying thank you? It's the best you're going to get. Oh, we should never have come here. This city... It only holds pain for me, Yasha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. No battle is without difficulty, Your Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. All of them? I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? Your Grace, we encountered the slave master, Dizorzo Raza, on the way to the signal tower. I regret that he lost his life. Oh, don't fucking... You admit it, then? The punishment for defying a queen is death. And yet, do you come to me for a reward? Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. I'm waiting. The man was a fucking master. He deserved to that die. That was not for you to decide. Not only did you disobey my orders, you are insolent and deceitful. You disappoint me, Forrester. I will not be giving you my second sons. What? But Your Grace, the mission was a success. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. Your Grace, we risked our lives for you. And you risk them again with your tongue. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There must be a few cutthroats who would fight for the likes of you. Now get out. I'm terribly sorry, Your Grace. You have nothing to apologize for, Malcolm. I have other plans for you. Plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. 
And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. And now you've angered her, she may need some convincing. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You'd abandon us with the White Hills at our doors. We need every sword. What's a sword to a dragon? Just think what this alliance might mean for your house. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. <sighs> the little Queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asha. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross the bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going north. We're going south, to join Mance, and the rest of the Free Folk. But, look... That was always the plan, Cotter. I can't go south. The Night's Watch will have my head. Better than losing it to a White Walker. Sylvie, he's come a long way. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me, then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why'd he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. I can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and- well, well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Garrett a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildlings. Fens, probably. <laughs> you didn't lose your nerve already, did you? Finn, will you Just piss off! Some leader you turned out to be. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. 
With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrett. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Why'd you even bring me here, Cotter? You said you'd take me to the North Grove. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it turned out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. Whoa! Fucking hell. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor, though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, thens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the White Walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? They can try to kill me if they want. I won't let them. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. My turn. Oh, really? You even know how to use that thing? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I'll make it do all right. Just be sure to keep it aimed that way. That's better than making do. You're not a bad shot. You'll do nicely, little one. Would that be enough? <laughs> you ever seen Cotter eat? We'll need another. Come on. Yes! May not be as good as the feast you're used to at the wall, but we won't starve, that's for sure. You're a fair bowman. Might be nice having someone like you around. You ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. 
You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Please, Sylvie. I need to know. A few years back, one of the Ice River clan set out to find it. They'd heard stories. That the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were... Damn it! This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. You were a pit fighter. If they're anything like you, we'll be just fine. Understand, they are nothing like me. These aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. <laughs> You did what? What the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Russia. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks with lily white asses like you, little brother. Maybe they should see a familiar face first. <sighs> if they don't like us coming here uninvited, it will hardly matter who they see first. Well, if it isn't Beska! The fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can. But not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One. Two. <laughs> I like this one! Hey, Amaya! Company! Is that a pit? Eh? Some masters couldn't get enough of the fighting. So they built their own private pits, where things could get really nasty.
That's Amaya. Keep your cock in your pants, little brother. She's likely to chop it off. Well, hello there. Not many people get past the beast. You must need something very badly. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. I've come with an offer. I think it's one that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. Amaya, please. Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom. You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. Enough! I didn't come to hear your bickering. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> My patience wears thin. Sail with me to Westeros and do to my enemies what you do best. Slay them all and lay waste to their lands. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters, artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now. Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? The life you've led here is over. I've met the Mother of Dragons. She won't open the pits again. If you want to fight, we offer gold and glory! Amaya. The way I left was terrible, I know, but we were friends once, and could be again. Please, set aside your anger and listen to him. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Who's the best you've got? His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Hmm. Right. Well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard? I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you! Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you return to Westeros and kill as many White Hills as you can? No. I'll drink enough ale to drown a horse. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. This cockless Westerosi, he's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me. Let me show you how we dance in Marine. You fight dirty. 
I like that! Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win! The best would be me! Here, use this! Are you ready, Westerosi? This is gonna hurt! Yours will be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting! I think I can, actually. For that, you die slow. That's no weapon worthy of blood song! <laughs> Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. Westerosi. See if you're still smiling after I break your face. Surprised you can lift it. Masters, you can stay here in Marine with nothing, or you can come with me. I chose you for a reason. You're true warriors. Warriors I admire and respect. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me, and it won't just be for sport. You'll fight for a higher purpose! To save innocence! 
and murder the guilty! If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in, as if you didn't know where you were. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You made it clear your loyalty was with Lady Marjorie. Yet now you hardly serve her at all. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. I try to be, Your Grace. Hmm, I see. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you've invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. 
How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. Or at least it shouldn't have been. I asked a friend to help me. I see. Then you're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. I have in the past, but I won't anymore. You're a clever girl, aren't you? Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. I would be happy to, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway. And I doubt anyone will miss him. You think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. There's no spoils without victory. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that. Victory is all we know. I'll show them their beds. Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you found your soldiers. Anrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What does Daenerys want from you? She has a mission for me. But beyond that, she's told me nothing. If I can... I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Perhaps the same will be true for me. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with, uh, cell swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Casting off! Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say.
Oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I really must speak with you, Lord Tyrion. Clearly. You're here, aren't you? At least you brought wine. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a triumph. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. And I've grown tired of talking to myself. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. Lady Marjorie sent me. Did she? With wine from Cersei's cellar. How generous of her. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty. But I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> you found me out. How did you know? You can learn a great deal about someone if you're paying attention. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. Are you toying with me? I might ask you the same question. Now tell me the truth. Admit it. Cersei sent you. I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The guards have never let anyone in with wine. That was your first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. I wish you'd had the courage to tell me the truth. Not that I'm above drinking her wine. I told you to be careful. He'll twist your words. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. I owe him the truth. Him? He's nothing now. I'm still a Lannister, and I know plenty of men who'd happily slit your throat. Now, give us a moment. We're not done talking. Mm. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you, and will continue to do so, until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Lady Marjorie will understand. Cersei left me no choice. Let's hope she understands. Because absent her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> What should I tell Cersei? You're a clever girl. I'm sure you'll think of something. Although I would suggest you choose your words carefully. Cersei would be far less amused if she catches you in a lie. She'll have my head. She'd rather have mine. So make something up. Tell her what she wants to hear. Enough of this nonsense. You're wasting my time. Out, now. I wish you well, Lady Mira. Careful who you trust.
Wish you leave. Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. Oh, you didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. Oh, you can be so hard to read sometimes. What will we do now? Now that we're... Uh, what we are? We'll be married. And no one will be able to keep us apart. Not Griff. Not his father. Not Ramsay Snow. I was hoping you'd say that. Roderick? Oh! I'm sorry. I thought you were alone. Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh... I, I didn't realise you two were... It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon, I hope. All right, then. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares, so I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held? He even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. Talia, I'll do the right thing. You know me. I do know you. That's why I need you to promise. Promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you, as your sister, make him pay. I give you my word, Talia. The traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. Go get the guards. Oh! oh. My lord, <laughs> you scared me after. So you know. I didn't mean for you to learn this way. Start explaining yourself, Duncan. What do you want me to say? What I did. I did for your own good. For House Forrester. For your father's legacy. And what about Garrett? You sent him to the wall for this house. I sent him there because I had to. 
Believe me, I didn't want to do any of this. Why did you do it at all? Because you're reckless, Roderick. Just as Ethan was. Choosing that warmonger, Royland, as his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. But you're not. And you've been in danger in this house since the day you got home. Refusing to kiss Lud's ring, even though you knew he'd retaliate. Losing your betrothal to Elena. It doesn't matter how either of you feel. Lord Glenmore will never let you marry her now. Flagrantly defying Griff and leaving Ortengrin to pay the price. And now, getting Arthur killed. Enough, Duncan! You're not a leader. You're a wounded soldier trying to prove he's still a man. I'm actually trying to save this family. Everything I've done, I've done for them. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. And the North Grove, did you tell them about that too? No, they've never even heard the name. I've kept the secrets that mattered. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to obey me. And you broke it. I swore to obey your father. He commanded respect. All you command is violence. This house is doomed with you in charge. Oh, and you know it. Hurts me to say that. But I wish you'd never crawled off that corpse cart. You're a traitor, Duncan. Nothing you say will change that. I know what I did was right. Duncan, how could you? My lord, Griff's gone. Someone helped him escape. Was this your doing? Lud was going to ambush you at the exchange. I did it to save your life. But Ryan, Duncan, I trusted you. Let's just get this over with. What do you want me to do with him, my lord? Roderick, you promised. Kill me, and I won't be able to help you save Asher. He's in danger, Roderick. <gasps> what do you mean? I know Lud's plans. Spare my life, and I'll tell you everything. Please, Roderick. Perhaps we should hear him out. He's only saying that to save himself. Whatever you decide, temper your anger with wisdom. If not for my sake, then for your family's. I'll spare your life. Now talk. You're a bigger coward than he is. Mira cost Lud his army. He's desperate to strike back. He's going to ambush Asher the moment he makes landfall. No! Take this traitor away! <sighs> Silencing me won't change things. You're making a mistake! What Duncan said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Prepare the horses. We're gonna defend my brother. Smell that. We're almost there, Beska. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up! Save your lovemaking for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your lord brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Iron Wrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A lord sounds an awful lot like a master. Roderick. He's the lord of the house, and he's been bred for him. I understand, but these men and women have journeyed here to follow you, not him. Oh, you'll see when you meet him. Doesn't matter if he can't fight like he used to. All men learn to love Roderick. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? So, this is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asher! Thank the gods you've made it back. You've looked better. We've no time for small talk, brother. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord knows you're coming. He sent men to intercept you. We need to hurry. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Could use a good fight. What? Open! I know what I'm doing. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. Go! You bastard! Beska. You're fucking leaving me? What the fuck am I supposed to do? I came here for you! We're supposed to fight together, always! Kill every last one of these fuckers! Start with him! Rip their fucking hearts out! Oh! 
Uh, uh, uh. 